And I know it's gonna shock people. She recently got shot. Now that's crazy. Actually, yep. She got shot and um, I reached out to her and she she's fine now. I mean, she has a really... My name is Aaron Cuffey. I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. Born and raised. A few times. A few times. <laughs> um, the first time was probably like, had to been like ninth or 10th grade. Um, was with this girl for a while, well, too long, maybe like a year. And I went through her phone on Valentine's Day because I just felt like something wasn't up. It just won't right. Damn, ah, he went through the phone. Listen, what I would I have went through the phone? Nah, probably not because I ain't gonna stunt. Most likely, bro, if you go through a chick phone, you gonna find what you was trying to find. No okay. cap, you gonna find it, and it ain't gonna be a pretty sight. But in this case, I ain't gonna stunt. By by the title, I think he did the right thing. And so I went through her phone on Valentine's Day. And sure enough, a guy that she told me not to really worry about, she was sending news to on Valentine's Day. Um, we met just in PE class, yeah. I mean, when you're young, most of the people that you meet are gonna go to your school, I mean. I knew her for a really long time, and we were just like cool-ish. I guess we were kind of like friends. We knew of each other, but didn't know each other very well, but we ended up having PE class together, and so we talked or whatever and all of that stuff. And of course, being young, you know, you worried about is this person messing with somebody else and all this stuff. So I went through her phone. I know, it's like a hill that I keep going down. That's why I don't go through people's phones anymore. Look, 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 you heard what the man said, right? <laughs> That's why he don't go through phones no more. what I tell you? Don't go through the phone, fellas. Don't go, I'm trying to tell you. Look, only go through the phone if it's really bothering you, man. Only go through the phone. Look, if, if that's your chick anyway. If that's your chick, that was his girl, so it's different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but... If you really trying to find something out, man, and you think something suspicious, dog, that's the only time you go through it, man. Other than that, man, if it ain't that deep to you, bro, don't be going through no chick's phone, man. Because for, for, for all for us, be real. You don't want the chick going through your phone. Let's be real. So don't don't, don't go through the chick's phone, man. But other than that, man, that that's it. But went through her phone, and she was talking to a guy that she used to talk to. And I just like talked to her about it and we talked it out and everything went smooth. So I should have took that as a red flag, but I trust and love like it ain't nothing. So trusted her and we went on down the line and everything was good. And so then kind of like towards the end of our relationship, well, it was the end of our relationship. She broke up with me randomly. She just told me that she didn't want to be with me anymore. We were doing good, weren't arguing, anything like that. We were doing fine. And then she told me that she just didn't want to be with me anymore. And so then the next day in school, she was talking to a guy that I actually used to be kind of close with, you know, and they actually said they were dating each other, posting each other on Instagram and all of that stuff. And then they argued a lot. And I think it was because the relationship was kind of forced. She just wanted to, you know, leave me and go mess with him or whatever. Bro, that's crazy, man. That motherfucker was a 304, man. She had two of them niggas. She was juggling two of them niggas, man. But guess what, though? She liked the other nigga so bad, man. She, I think she liked the other nigga more than him. So you mean, like, that's what it was for real, for real, man. That That's what it was, man. And she tried to use this man right here as a rebound. As to, okay, well, let me come back to him. It ain't working over here. Just let me come back to this guy. And so then she came back into my life um, a little bit after, like, they started talking, maybe, like, two months afterwards. And we, ended, we ended up doing some stuff and went about our business. After that, we didn't talk. And then a month later, I was in class because I transferred schools and I was in class. And she called me and was like, Aaron, I'm pregnant. And I was like, hmm? and heart dropped. I actually went to the bathroom and threw up and I was just confused, I was shocked and all of that stuff. And I was like, well, tell him to take the test again because she was leaving to go into the army. She graduated a year before I did. And so she went to, uh, she left to go to the army. But before you can get like inducted into it, they have to like test you and see if you're pregnant or anything like that. And sure enough, she was. So everything was just going south. Like I was just upset for the next few weeks until she went and got a ultrasound. And I didn't tell anybody about it until after, like the whole situation was over. She went and got an ultrasound and it said that she was three months pregnant. When she called, when we did it, it was 30 days ago. And it, she was three months pregnant, so it couldn't have been mine. Oh, oh 
shit. Bro, it was three months ago, bro. Three months. You ain't had sex. Bro, imagine that shit. You ain't had sex with this girl um, until, what, last month? You was you had sex with her last month. Man, this chick was just running around, man, just raw-dogging it, man. She was just raw-dogging these niggas, man. That's crazy, man. That's that's scary, fellas. Take notes, man. This shit is that... Strap that thing down there, bro. Real talk. Strap that shit up, man. Because, man, this will... This, bro, I ain't gonna stunt. There's a lot of niggas out here that's carrying um, other niggas' seeds, man. Real talk. And so, time goes on. And I told her that, I mean, I would help her in any way that I could. Besides taking care of the baby, because it ain't my baby. Oh, yeah, he better than me. <laughs> he better, because I ain't helping nothing. Now, now. And after that, she ended up having a miscarriage. And came back to me because the guy that she wasn't really, the guy she didn't really like, but that was actually gonna be her baby daddy, she she didn't really like, you know? And so she came back to me and again, I love a lot. And so she came to me talking about how upset she was and how dumb she was for leaving me and all of that stuff. So basically she was just trying to see if it was greener on the other side. And so we continued to be friends for a while. I ain't gonna stop, man. I know dude got a good heart and all, but man, I, I ain't gonna. If it was me, man, th this this wouldn't be me, man. This some beta shit, man. No cap. This is some beta shit, man. Y'all friends? Why, why are y'all friends, man? This girl was going back and forth, man. She playing you. She was playing you, dog. And then when things got rough, she tried to come back and use you. That's all that was, dog. But that's not you, you not being aware of female nature, dog. That's what happens. And then I met my current girlfriend and I just told her that we couldn't talk anymore. Like, you know, cause I wanted to be happy and I didn't want to be put through the same stuff that she put me through at first. Man, you better not put yourself back in that goddamn situation, nigga. <laughs> if you do, man, you, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot, man. You, didn't, you haven't learned your lesson. You know, rough. I mean, it was, you know, I, as I got older, I learned how to not trust people as much and not, you know, stay, keep my distance. You know, I trust people to a certain extent until the trust is broken, but it just, it just sucked. But I know I would definitely put myself in that situation again. Cause I, when I love, I love hard. And if I get heartbroken, it is what it is, you know? Time, a whole lot of time, just time, 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 you know? and. With that, you know, I've never been a type that coped with anything like a substance or with other people. I never used people to help me get over something. You know, I just really just waited it out and thugged it out, you know, and that was it. Most definitely, yeah, I have. She recently, and I know it's gonna shock people, she recently got shot. Shit, well, you know, I mean, shit, that, that's karma. Nigga, I ain't gonna stunt. That's karma, man. Karma exists, trust me. You do not do these things and think that you just gonna live a a, a, a nice, good life. <laughs> no, bro, this shit comes back to haunt you in different types of ways, trust me. Actually, yep, she got shot and um, I reached out to her and she she's fine now. I mean, she has a really, 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 she does a really bad job at picking the guys that she mess with. And so she messed with a guy that ended up getting her in a situation where she ended up getting shot when they wanted to shoot him. And she ended up getting shot in the head, actually, but she survived it and she good now. I mean, I don't really keep up with her, but I mean, I've seen her on my Explore page before, I've seen her picture, so she doing fine. Um, <laughs> we had a really weird relationship. It was more like a we homeboys type thing, but we together, you know? So it'd just be like, what's up, bro? How's life going? She has a thing for like, she's really confused at what she wants to do in life so she like hops from job to job and job last time i checked she worked for pepsi like a, a pepsi warehouse but that was from retail and grocery store and warehouse she just like doing stuff like that so i would just say what's up bro and we would just chop it up and then go about our business i already did still in love right now um time will heal you no matter what time will heal you um you're still gonna look back at it, you know, and still just think either how dumb could I have been to get in that situation or what did I do wrong to lead to that? 
but most times it's not you it's the other person but self-reflection is important so it's it's okay to think that you're the reason why stuff like that happens but nine times out of ten it's the other person you know so just just wait it out thug it out it's gonna hurt it's gonna be painful but in the meantime you know just try to pick up something a hobby something that can really take your mind off of it but at the end of the day embrace it because it's gonna happen no matter what and you know just keep pushing through it time gonna heal it and fellas man he's right man he's definitely right about self-reflecting man you need to do that man you need to first of all you need to embrace your pain man it's gonna happen bro Believe it or not, man, these things happen in life, dog. You know, you feel what I'm saying? And and unfortunately, we get, we just got to go through these situations, man. But we got to come back victorious. That's all. You feel me? But the thing is, what I don't agree with is that he fell. He, he says that he's, you know, um, he fell in love again. Bro, you never want to fall in love. You never want to fall. As a man, you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. Because what that means is that you're falling in love with the broad, but you're not falling in love with your purpose. You're not falling. You're not falling in love with that. You gotta fall in love with your purpose before anything. Before anything, bro. You can love the. Now I'm not saying you can't love your chick. You can love your chick, but falling in love is different, bro. You don't want to fall in love. When you fall in love, you make stupid decisions. You make stupid decisions emotionally. You don't want to do that. But man, that's it for the video, man. You already know. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, fellas. All right, man. I'm out. It's your boy Keys. Peace.